Yo, what's going on with y'all this week? My buddy suggested I check out Sea and Shadow by Will Wright. I know nothing whatsoever about this, so let's just dive on into it. Beware, because spoilers be lurking ahead. So, we open up with our main character, Colder, in command of a ship. I don't know what it is with authors cold opening on ships lately, but I feel like it's been happening a lot. Maybe it's just in my head. Anyhow, his ship is sailing through a nasty storm, and we learn that there's an aspect of him that can sort of spiritually control the ship, something akin to the Force, called Intent, which is a fitting name, I suppose. Apparently, Intent can allow skilled captains to sail with virtually no crew. I have no idea how exactly this works, but it seems weirdly contrived, but I'm not entirely against it either. It is at least a unique idea. Anyhow, Kohler and his crew are hunting a very special type of chimera, and to be fair to it, the book starts off with a lot of info, but it's not impossible to keep up in the early chapters. Whoops, better call your mom, because we've got a sentence that needs some unpacking! Sadly, this book found the drug of too many ideas and lores, and not nearly enough story and character, and that drug is apparently better than smack. That being said, the world building is cool and has clearly been approached with some care. Hey, I'm a dungeon master and I like cool ideas. So, we then jump back 13 years where Calder and his dad suffered a botched heist and Calder had to go live with his mom, who began enthusiastically teaching him in the ways of piracy. It's weird, and here is where being a little hard to follow becomes fucking incomprehensible. We bounce back and forth in a tennis match between Calder's past, meaning the woman who would eventually become his wife, to the present where his wife gets stolen and he goes on a vengeance mission to get her back an Avenger. Honestly, the broad strokes aren't bad, but the nuances are lost. We spent a good amount of time bouncing back and forth between different members of Calder's pirate crew, but the only one that sticks out to me was the cook who used to be a gladiator. I literally can't remember anyone's name aside from the main character, and it makes following their interactions fucking difficult, which makes caring about them nearly impossible. A better option would have been to focus more strongly on two or three of the crew members and flesh them out so that we care about them, or just flash us through Calder's past showing how we met these people, or why they matter to him. Right now, all I know is that one of his crew drugged him so he smiles and his cook feels bad that he didn't stop his wife from getting kidnapped. So things go on and we start talking about elder gods and immortality through shackling yourself to these elders and secret guilds and I, I honestly do not care. It's way too much, way too fast, and it's just batshit crazy. Something straightforward and far more simple would have really allowed us to get attached to the characters in the world. Even Pirates of the Caribbean doesn't start off completely batshit crazy. The end result is that I have no fucking clue what the hell is going on. Like, literally none. I could try and explain what bits I could surmise and what I can follow, but I don't wanna. This may not be your professional attitude about the whole thing, but if I can't understand jack shit about the storyline and I really, really hate the idea of going back to try and understand it, that's pretty much the review in a nutshell in my mind. So ultimately, I have to say that this book has a lot of good ideas and world building, but unfortunately just kind of throws it up all over the place. You know how it is. Your friend may be interesting and worth hanging out with, but if they're spewing out of both ends and are unintelligible, it's probably time for you to leave. My personal score is 2 out of 10. Like I say, there are some really interesting ideas in here, and clearly the author thought a lot of this out, but the execution is just really poor. Let's go ahead and take a look at that bingo card. <laughs> And much like the book, I threw up markers all over the place, but just never quite struck gold. Strangely fitting, in a way. Anyhow, that's all for this time, so if you have something else you want me to review, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see what we get into next time. Subscribe, until then, drink plenty of water, tell your parents that you love them, and stroke your mustache at night.